Hello chemists and welcome to another Two Minute Tuesday here on Bales Chemistry. This week I'm looking at adding and removing electrons to atoms, specifically the order at which you add and remove electrons from orbitals. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. A quick reminder then, each energy level contains different types of orbitals. An s orbital is the lowest in energy and can hold two electrons. A p orbital has more energy than the s orbital and can hold six electrons. And the d orbital is the highest energy orbital that we look at in the AQA A level specification and can hold 10 electrons in its suborbitals. Not all energy levels contain all types of orbitals. The first level only contains an s orbital. The second level contains s and p orbitals. And the third and fourth contain the s, p and d although we won't use the 4D orbitals at A level. When filling the orbitals, we follow the Aufbau principle, which means we fill from the lowest energy orbitals first. Before we fill the orbitals in this diagram, it's important to watch out for the 4S orbital. When filling up the orbitals, we always fill the 4S orbital before the 3D orbital. This is important to remember when working out electron configurations of an atom or when adding electrons to make a negative ion. Keeping our focus on the 4S orbital, we'll now remove the electrons. Unfortunately, we don't just do the reverse of filling them up. That would be too simple. Instead, we actually go back down the energy levels in order, emptying the 4p, then the 4s, before the 3d. This is important to remember as when we're writing out electron configurations for positive ions where electrons have been removed. Thank you, chemists, for watching this Two Minute Tuesday. If you found it useful, please click the thumbs up below and make sure you subscribe to the channel.